Hi everyone, welcome to Invercargill for the first ever AENZ Premiership final. It was between the Southern Steel and the Pulse down here. And guess what? It is no surprise, ladies, that the Steel took it 69 points to 53. They were great. They were. They're up by 15 at half time and they put their foot down. They were all class. All seven out on court really dominated their opposition and it really was um, the team thoroughly deserved to win. Shannon Francois, she was probably a standout tonight, those feeds that she put in. Yeah, look, she dominated the feeding tonight over Crampton, and yeah, she's just been so consistent throughout the season. She's a bit of a uh, quiet performer out there, but really just goes about doing her job. You often see her out there with so much space with the ball, um, and that's a, a great sign of a good player, her ability to lose her defender. But yeah, she's really matured this year in her feed, her ability to fine Fowler Reed has been impressive and she's a great defensive centre as well and I think this whole steel outfit, the connections they have on court and she's the key link in the centre to that. And what about Wendy Frew? I mean she made it onto the court she's had a couple of weeks off because they had that big van accident but somehow she's just so tough, she got out there and had an amazing performance. Yeah well Belinda talks about Francois being the key link, well she's the key leader in this steel outfit and as you say she hasn't played the last two weeks recovering from that leg and arm injury that she suffered in the accident but she just showed her grit her determination and just what a what a feisty player she is she came out for balls was rolling on the ground she didn't look like she had stitches taken out of her leg um you know last week and you know you just, it just saw at the end of the game how much this meant to her because obviously they've gone through so much as a team and um yeah it's well deserved and of course the winning moment um that is the emotion that you're talking about and i guess ladies it's because last year you know they won that round robin in the anz championship which had the australian teams but then they lost in those playoffs to the magic and this time they've done it yeah and we heard wendy Frew talk about that as a really great motivator for her side they are a side that have stuck together the majority of them from last season and they have just worked so hard all season there was no way they were going to let this one slip through their fingers so there are the numbers what do they tell you well look at that attempts at goal 59 to 80 massive massive turnovers Again, it's been something that's really affected the pulse all year as their turnovers, 22 compared to the Steel's 12. They're patient with the ball, the Steel, they look after it. And of course, the penalties, they're a little bit high for the pulse as well. But really, the stats to show, um, the Steel tonight, too classy, 92%, Fowler Reed, 56 from 61, incredible amount of volume. You compare that to the likes of Tui Vaiti, 26 from 29. Their stats were good, the pulse, 90% just didn't get enough ball into them. So there you go, it is the Steel. They are the new champions for 2017. It is congratulations to them.